gonna be a really weird day, you guys. I woke up at 5 a.m. in Palm Springs and I flew back to Seattle, even though all of my friends are still at my house. I have a closing here in Seattle, so I decided flying back for the closing. The clock is ticking though, because I am taking the flight out tonight back to Palm Springs. It leaves at 8 p.m., so this is really weird. I've never done something where I've flown in just for the day, all to come back, so it's 10 a.m. I'm incredibly tired. I tried to sleep on the plane, but it was honestly kind of miserable. I'm gonna grab some coffee, get in an Uber, shower, get ready for the day. Just got my car. I had it parked at Jason's house. Now it's time to go shower and get ready. It's so gloomy today. It's like one of the gloomiest days we could have. I just got ready. I'm a little messy. Can't wait to get back to Palm Springs. I am going to go run out and try and get some closing gifts really quick. It's now 4.30. The closing went well. I did what I came for and now I'm gonna go get dinner with my parents near the airport. Have a little celebratory dinner with my parents. back at the airport. Oh, I'm ready. I've also been up for 14 hours now. That's not too bad, but by the time I land, it'll have been closer to 18. I don't do well with no sleep. Some people can do it, I can't. Cloudy day. It's a cloudy day. Oh, it's a cloudy day. So crazy, we went from 85, 90 degree weather to 60 and I look like this right now. Yesterday was tough. Uh, <laughs> so I had woken up at 5 a.m. I had only gotten like four hours of sleep because I stayed up too late because we had a game of Monopoly going that was getting pretty heated and I thought it was more important to win Monopoly than just get enough sleep for my day. <laughs> the flight got delayed a little bit so I ended up getting in around, I got back here at midnight. Probably slept for like 10 hours and when I woke up, I still felt just horrible. It was one of those things where I was so sleep deprived. I'm gonna make some breakfast here. I think I want to make a bucket list of things to do for the next couple of weeks that we're here because every time I come here, you know, I kind of have ideas in my head of things that I want to do, but I never get to doing them. So some of the things I want to do, I definitely want to go play pickleball or tennis. I want to do a round of golf, at least one round of golf. I, I want to try a new restaurant. I want to go up the tram slash go to Idlewild, which is this kind of mountain town that looks really cute. I want to go to Talkwoods Canyon, which is this little kind of hike nature walk thing. Um, so those are just a few things that I want to do. These neighbors of ours have these pink flowers. I believe they're called bougainvilleas. I could be wrong, but they're kind of overflowing into our yard and it's just so rude. No, I'm just kidding. I actually love them. Like they make me so happy to look at. Here's a closer look at them right there. They're super pretty. They remind me of a hibiscus. Maybe I'll make a fun little cocktail later today and I'll pick one and put it in my cocktail. We decided we're in the mood to buy a pizza oven and learn how to make pizza. The whole pizza oven thing, I'm skeptical. Like even if we get one, which we, if they have it in stock, we will. I'm afraid that like, there's gonna be a learning curve with trying to make the pizzas, but. I'm excited about it. Yeah. It's gonna be good. How much do I like pizza? You're obsessed with pizza. This girl always wants pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Here it is. <gasps> Look at that. They have a pizza oven box. Pizza oven was secured. Now we need to get some supplies. There's this cute little store. So we've got quite the haul of stuff. There was an Amazon package at the door and the projector that Shelby ordered came. So that's gonna be exciting to try and figure that out. At the little market, 
We got some picante salami. We got some tomato sauce too. This jar was like $16, so hopefully it's good. At the store, there was this Neapolitan style, the King Arthur brand pizza flour. And so we're just following the little recipe it has here. Oh no, it says let the dough rise for at least 12 hours. It is light. Got the projector working. Um, if you back away, it gets like as big as the wall. We're about to try out the pizza oven. We haven't made dough or anything. We're just gonna see if it works, make sure. Failure to follow these instructions may result in an explosion or fire that may cause property damage, serious injury, or death. Ooh. <laughs> you can use the palm, but palm, but yeah, use the palm. It did the explosion? Yeah. Our pizza's ready. We're going for it. I've got our blaze order on. Stand by. Stand by if this doesn't go well. <laughs> It is easy to like pull in and out. What I'm worried about is like if it's doughy in the middle, right? Because this this looks fatter than a Neapolitan pizza should be. <laughs> no, that's on fire. It's good? For real? Yeah. Like I could eat that for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's good though. This is so fun. Oh, I'm excited for this one. is better cooked and this starts to get a little doughy. Good morning, everyone. tacos tonight. This is ground turkey because that's healthier. I'm actually going to do like a taco bowl instead. Wow. I know you guys are all, you know, saying you think Jason seems like a really good guy, but he doesn't like tomatoes. I don't. <laughs> Sketch. <laughs> I did go to the store for her. All the stuff. Buy you this stuff and then cook you this stuff. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like tomatoes. But, but you don't like tomatoes, so none of that really matters. <laughs> this looks good though. This looks really, really good. I can't believe I've never done this before. Here are Jason's tacos. Taco holders are a must. This is my boyfriend and he is really normal. <laughs> <laughs> It is 3.10. Monica and I started thinking about an hour ago. So I'm here making spicy margaritas, and I want to show you, Monica, exactly how I'm doing them. So here we go. I'm taking hand-cut limes, right here. We're squeezing them in here to make our lime juice, only fresh. Gotta take a break real quick to uh, take a photo of my baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that that's done, we're gonna change it up. Gotta clean this thing, this thing gets kind of Disgusting. Just wait till you see it with the oranges. It's kind of turned into a lazy day since we started drinking rose. Um, we just might hang outside. Move this new OJ cup and then get to work. We have our finished product of lime juice and orange juice here. End product here. I got some tahini on the rim. Gonna walk y'all through what I did here. Gonna flip you around. So I did two shots of orange juice, two shots of lime juice, two shots of this, we're bougie, so. And then we got our fire tincture. There it is. Dip the rim in some tahini in here. It's not super spicy. Like we could probably do two drops. Here, here we go, here we go. Now Monica is gonna try it for the first time. How do we do? It tastes good, but it's not like super, super spicy. We just got a package. So I had my friends over, me and Jason's friends over 
this last weekend. It was super fun. And one of our friends, Ryan, sent me something, which is so nice. He did not have to do that, but we're gonna open it and see what it is. Oh, nice. What is this game called? Ladder ball. Ladder ball. Ladder oh. Ball. Ladder ball set. Oh, let's play. People will love this. Yeah, good point. Oh, we should get spike ball too. Although, it. yeah, it hurt on the cement. Hi guys. Baylor, how are we today? I'm getting ready today. It's so easy when I'm in Palm Springs to just not get ready because, you know, you're going out to the pool and the hot tub and just getting in the water a lot or it's really, really hot and it just sweats off or you're just in chill mode and just don't want to do it. But I find I do that so often that I start to feel bad about myself. Like when I go, you know, days and days and days without getting ready, I'm like, okay, what do I look like when I try? So I'm forcing myself to try today. I'm going to get ready a little bit. Um, but this morning I was scrolling for how is, as I love to do, this one house popped up that I actually almost totally skimmed past it. And then I noticed a really cool feature about it. There's a garage that was converted into like a studio office. And I was like, wow, that looks really awesome. I wish that I had that house. And so Shelby, if you guys watched my sister Shelby, recently I, n I never thought I would um, hear these words out of her mouth. She said, hey, what if like I bought something in Seattle as a home base? I thought it was a great idea. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna send this to Shelby because I don't think she'll like it. I don't think she'll go for it. I've never seen her like get excited about anything I've sent her. I sent it to her and she fell in love with it too. And so it's it, within a budget that I think we can afford. I need to talk to a lender and make sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Cy like, of course I'm not in town when this house pops up, but Cyrus is headed to the property right now. I'm just waiting for his call. He's gonna FaceTime me and Shelby. Anyways, this is so crazy. And this is actually, gosh, so weird too. This is the second time that we might be offering on a house in the last like month. We offered on a house in Palm Springs as well. I didn't really tell you guys about that. Shelby talked about that. We offered on a house that's really close to our house and we wanted to buy it so that we could have two houses here and like house more people. And we didn't end up getting it, which is fine. You know, I think we were really excited about the idea, but ultimately when we didn't get it, I was like, eh, it's just not meant to be though. Anyways, I'm gonna finish getting ready and actually try today. Here you go, I made you lunch. Yeah? <laughs> My name's Jason, Monica's boyfriend, personal chef, <laughs> chauffeur, alarm clock. Barista, Barista, alarm clock. Yes, Jason made me lunch. While I was on the call looking at the house, it looked pretty cool. I'll show you guys a little bit. This is like the coolest part of the house right here is this in the backyard. This is the reason we really, really want the house is because this is just an office space, you know, or a hangout space, whatever you want it to be, but really fits me and Shelby's lifestyles really well. Um, and we like the location of the house quite a bit. It's very gross outside today. A little windy, a little rain. The backyard looks so sad on a rainy day here. We are going to go do a little shopping today. There are some things we still need for this house, so gonna try and knock out a little bit of that. Mainly, we really need art on the walls really badly. We really need art on these walls right here. I'm thinking like a bigger piece could go here and then just like a couple little smaller pieces here. The entryway we've been really meaning to redo for a while, so we're not gonna keep this. It's very bulky in the entryway and it just, like this is a bookshelf that's meant to be seen from far away, right? And you put stuff in it and you just can't really do that here. It just doesn't really fit this house at all, I would say. In this room, I've never been a huge fan of these nightstands right here. So I don't know if maybe we find different nightstands that could be good. Maybe a different lamp set up too, I don't know. All right, we might have had a successful trip. We don't know, but if anything doesn't work, we can return it. So, ended up getting a runner type rug. Thought maybe that would be good for the entryway. So, let's see. Here's that. Ignore this. Um, so it's reversible, so it goes this way or that way. I think we'll probably have a, the dark blue way. I definitely like the dark blue better than the lighter color, but I think 
I like it. Then we got some art prints. So I I feel confident these art prints are gonna work somewhere in the house. I'm hoping the entryway, but maybe even the living room. So it's the ones I showed you guys in the store. We got the Dean Martin one. And this is the Elvis one. I think this one's my favorite. This is the Frank Sinatra one. It feels already good seeing something near the wall. And I'm so pleasantly surprised with how they're actually kind of cohesive with these throw pillows. All right, we're done watching football. Now we're watching those. Today's the day that we are supposed to leave Palm Springs. And we decided we're just gonna stay. 